Hey there, Fricho. Sorry for uh, taking so long to finally react to that YTP that you worked for bloody years to create. But hey, if it took four years, then you can forgive me taking a little bit less than months because, as you can see, there's been some changes in my life. For the best, for the best, difficult changes, quite pricey ones, but in the long in the long run, quite good changes for the best. But in this new change environment, the first ever reaction for you, Richa. Michael Rosen loses himself in a long totally low cry. What is that? Oh, so I just realized that I already turned on this thingy, even though I usually wait it for afterwards, so I become rusty in reactions, haven't I? In any case, I'm sure it's gonna be good. Hello, welcome to Reading Aloud. This week, Hello, welcome, welcome to, to Reading Aloud. This week. Alice going to the looking glass, all I can say is... <laughs> ah, yes, that thingy. <laughs> what do we mean by Nintendo? I'm sure the people around here in Birmingham are really bright. <laughs> Hands with... Wakes, dark, yeah. but Hansworth wakes, but Hansworth wakes, but Han <laughs> The opening lines of one of Benjamin Zenjamin's most famous pieces, and now his second novel, Refugee Boy. Uh, yes, I, I, I switched my camera to the side, so I forgot that whenever I want to look at the camera directly, I need to look in a different place. Yeah. Boy. Boy! Is in. <laughs> that, is, that is a very good thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that makes a very good thumbnail. <laughs> uh, it is written that only Link can defeat Ganon. That's what's probably written in the book, yeah? Is inspiring no one. Interesting, don't you think? Yes, I thought you did. Vicky, was there a way in which the book change the way you think? Was there a before and after? I wouldn't say gardeners. And I think... Oh, that's, that's a lot less violent than I expected. In a way, what Howard Gardner has done, and I think he almost admits this himself, is he's sort of liberal. Uh, 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 musical? Uh, grammatical? Cool? Uh, musical? Uh, article? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, radical? <laughs> uh, uh, that would be... Chronological... Uh, I, I think it's from one of the birthday collabs, yeah. Chronological, lolological, illogical, Jekyll and Hyde, Robert Louis Stevenson. Mozart, wouldn't it? <laughs> interpersonal and intrapersonal, I suppose. Interpersonal, well, that's what we're doing. Yeah, and yeah. an intrapersonal is when you... And that's really, I think, something that... that that, that that's not the direction they should yes. be going in. It brings up all these issues Stick them in of the ethics, and then almost, yeah. So in a way, Grant, you're saying there are seven... <laughs> a singular. Well, after all that, I feel like a <laughs> drink. You know, my favourite quote about intelligence comes from someone called La Rochefoucauld, who said... Well, that's it for intelligence. <laughs> comes from someone called La Rochefoucauld, who said. Vision <laughs> Tesco. I want. You know why there is no Vision Tesco? Because Thomas the Tank Engine ate it all, as shown in Todd's Wintry Willies. Yeah. Well, that's it for now. What was this? <laughs> Bleach burn, huh? 
Hello, welcome to Hello, Reading Aloud. Hello, welcome to 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 Reading Aloud. First, a book I love and wish that I'd written. It's... No se lo digas a nadie, pero en secreto me gustan los hombres. We caught up with Simon at that gay festival. Welcome, Simon, Simon. When I draw the images, I like to think of potatoes. It helps. Honestly. She read out loud every night. <laughs> oh, that, 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 that is very smoothly done. I keep looking to the side, to the wrong side of the camera. There, there is really no way to move. I mean, there is a way to put my camera in there, but I will put it on a VESA mount thingy, so I don't have to use old broken tripod. That's 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 very handy. Yeah, but the issue is that it's not now on the opposite side. Uh, the world feels unreal, inhuman. If the sales of this book staying alive or anything to go by, <laughs> they turn to poetry. It's got old favorites Three. like www.pangporn.com and 500 more exceptional tits, and we'll be discussing its tits in a moment. But do people really turn to poetry? Let's find out. <laughs> There's a worm outside and he's wriggling on his belly. Why doesn't he come inside? Hmm, <laughs> impressive. Indeed. Jane, are you a, are you a poetry reader? You're stuck. You've got my people one piece. Slightly unexpected me. Can we get my chaya? In and out, in and out, in and out, if of. And then finally, the art of war. <laughs> Sanson said that. And he knew a little more about fighting than you do. Now, did this grab you? <laughs> Thoroughly enjoyed going through it. You can dip into it, turn up some real gems that I totally enjoyed. Like um, some of the Eastern European turn ups, turn mm, Russia is a lot smaller than I. I don't know, well, I'd like it to get even smaller, to break to pieces in all the republics inside of the Korean. Please do my the Korean. One of the things that poetry is very good at is the mo yeah. moment. Quite often, or deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Poetry is very good at just. Just like that sort of love poetry, which is really physical and quite sexy. Yeah. Jane? Yeah. Read it. Well, that's all for now. Just time for a little poem that I tell myself when times are tough. It's by Byron. Stop, traveller. Piss on Thatcher's grave. Bye now. <laughs> Funny. We uncover the design fault. <laughs> with synthetic phonics. Uh-oh. <laughs> but first, an author and illustrator who's managed to combine blind and deaf, she's Helen Keller. Um, author and illustrator who's managed to combine blind and deaf. Blind and deaf. Okay. She's Helen Keller. I had a three-year-old daughter who had a three-year-old daughter. Mm. Okay. <laughs> uh, get it in the milk. Right! Synthetic <laughs> love. Soon, every school will have to use meth. Hooray! Well, I've got a bit of a problem with that. First of all, England isn't real. Look, I'll show you. <laughs> oh. 
It's gone. What am I gonna do? <laughs> We're gonna make the sound. Oh. Uh. Well, obviously, oh. we can write. Oh. Uh. Jak wioski w Polsce, tak? Like that as we do in now. Eh? When we learn to read, we have to read. We have to learn to read. We have to. When we yeah. learn to read, we have to recognize. We have to learn to read. We have to. Even though it's simply mirroring, it actually works very well. You can be told right away that it's mirrored. When we learn to read, we have to recognize thousands of these, and no one cares. Is this tension that Sonia is talking about? Is that really the theme of the book? Um, um, uh, 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 terrifies his. Это же антипуп. Ах ты ленивая задница. It's just that uh, kind of a thingy we got go running joke. Me and a Russian YouTube pooper, Thomas Blue, where we reacted to each other white piece and. We quoted another popular Russian pooper who made this joke where it was like like this anti poop, you know, when you get out words and it's just gasping. It's like, mom, do anti poops still exist? You lazy ass. And he was reacting to one of my way to and he goes like, wait a second, that's anti poop. You lazy ass. And we kind of call each other that for fun. His wife, he beats his wife, uh, 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 a white liberal. That's enough. Do you think we get a sense of the place, Nigeria? Can we smell it? Can we feel it? Can we hear it? No. I must say, I got an intense flavour of the country. You uh, did. Michael, uh, like Michael rolls into the bar of time, and we get some Milky Way. <laughs> mm, the bar of time. Purple biscuits. Well, that's about it for this. Too much dribbling with the basketball. This edition of reading. Quiet. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, hi. <laughs> Teaching poetry can seem like one of the most boring, boring uninteresting, <laughs> and a bit unfriendly things to do. So here now are my top five tits. <laughs> 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 Make your own popcorn and put out new ones every week. Get the children to <laughs> read poems to the class at the end of the day when they know that you can't. When you read poems together, don't. Don't do, don't do, don't do that. Don't pull faces, don't deal with the cat. Don't, uh, don't pick your ear. Uh, don't be rude at school. Who do they think I am? Some kind of a fool. And what was that? Uh, don't put mustard on your custard. Uh, and don't, and don't put fruit on the computer. I would, but I don't have any fruit. I left them at the other place. Taking more apples with me back then. Big apples, like oh. I put them on my computer. <laughs> but there are no fruit. I do have vegetables, but they are frozen. Um, 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 oh, that, that, that was very funny um, and unexpected. Um, 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 like, okay, yeah, the reversing. Yeah, that's expected. But this, this is very nicely done masking. And uh, like, oh. That's perfect. I see why it took four, four years. It's worth the wait. And one more. Find the right material. And one book I'd recommend <laughs> is by Sharon Creech. Oh, that is. How did you find the right this? material? And one book I'd because the panning on this, it's 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 simply perfect. Men is. Because it's not a, uh, he, he doesn't actually fall the job line, right? You 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 edit it in, but it's like the angle, the tilting, all of it, it's mm, really nicely done. I see why it took four years. By Sharon Creech. It's a novel written in poetic form as a diary about a boy who has to write a f and <laughs> <laughs> 
class and goes on to write more and more for himself someone else who's passionate about poetry and who believes that children should be taught Cheers. by heart i don't disagree with her about that is ruth padell really that's that's the name you know sounds like a polish slur for homosexuals doesn't it hey for each other yeah shots and watch them moving yeah a gripping story of a boyhood friendship destroyed by jealousy and fear <laughs> I have my Una hidden somewhere there. Of oh, brand Una from a Chinese star. In war-torn card games. This this is important. Card games for children. Gry karciane dla dzieci. Znaczy, Fryczo, jeżeli nie oglądasz gry karciane dla dzieci, to musisz zobaczyć. Nawet jeżeli nie uwielbiasz anime, musisz, musisz zobaczyć gry karciane dla dzieci. Bo fajne parodie są. Tłumaczenie i oryginalne parodie. Important to the book, isn't it, Gali? Well, yes, obviously it's a... Uh... It's a, there's, it's, 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 it's best. Now, guilt's a driving force in the story, isn't it, Julia? Well, I mean, the, no. The, the book starts to get a little bit dull, and then all of a sudden... Didn't expect to be happening. That's nearly it from reading aloud. Just time to return to poetry. This one always makes me smile. It's by Spike Milligan, and it's called Silly P... <laughs> Which P... <laughs> <nurse> <laughs> I don't remember you saying that. And even if you would say, I wouldn't believe you, Fritjo. Shall I use? To be? Bye. <laughs> or not to be? Hello, and the winner is... Reading Aloud in the category... Biggest child you for the watch. <laughs> Coming up, ten... <laughs> <laughs> Category Biggest Child You Ever Watch It's a funny one. Coming up, tension and excitement is the con ah, I kinda expect it. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but like look at this woman and the uh Okay. This this one woman. You could have made it like so yeah she like turns around her turns her head, yeah. but then you could like cut it out and mirror it and then it would look like she would turn her head like 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 this for no reason and then you could repeat that as if she's her head is spinning and excitement okay. as the contenders line up for the big prize the winner of the nestle children's book prize gold medal is but we didn't ask in the five years and under category, there's Woo by Emily Gramley and the Dancing Tiger by this bloke. In the six to eight years group, there's Careless Whisper by George Michael. Butter. <laughs> the Far. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it 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 is a good book. It's, it is a good, very touching. And in the 9 to 11 ca- Oh, oh. alright. I see what the Pennsylvania is gonna do with this thing. They knew what they were doing. They're British, they don't care. Category, there's Coriander by Michael. Gardner. Oh. Industrial Society and its future. And Michael. Oh, you didn't do a from 9 joke to the uh, 10, to the number after 10. Mm -hmm. So you've got all these awards. What have you got? Are they all? I am alone at House Survivor. Creepy scenes. <laughs> so you've got all these awards. What have you got? Are they all hype? Champagne? Showers? 
They make books feel sexy. Again. Yeah, it is. It's called a running joke. People who oppose them say things like, it's, it's too based. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> Five Nights at Rosens. Sue the pants off. <laughs> off no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. A wholly appropriate move to introduce our next book, Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell. <laughs> uh, yeah, Minecraft. Yeah. Stop the mob. Mob what? Julia, do these six tales make one novel? You sort of, you 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 yes, they do because they go up to a kind of Christian. Gender. It's sort of written by this uh, American lawyer as a sort of as, as a journal, <laughs> describing his his journey on a ship. So, Stacey, with that, with, the, with if you like, the reader has to hop from one style to another to stay with the book. Does the, did you feel that made you an, an active reader? I think you can't read the book. <laughs> but it's mm. not. It's I, very think much that, I think that I think that the technique she lends itself. Hello and welcome to Reading Aloud, the program about blistering attack on testicles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know who Oli is and uh, who I would sue you, but I saw the joke first. Oli is in luck. It is out of luck. Hard luck, Oli. <laughs> the thing about these exams is they don't just crucify the children, they 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 crucify the children. <laughs> oh! The First World War was caused by the ass and anal. <laughs> In one of Shakespeare's famous plays, Hamlet relieves himself in a long soliloquy. Apple. <laughs> a portal to say apple. How much do we know about the round the world? <laughs> <laughs> hey, musical jokes are good. Well, plenty of interpretations of the word <laughs> there. Is this going to help them, Julia? Oh, I, I don't I could. I, what you would find out is who discovered the quark, who found the quark, how are they related to other people who knew about quarks. Quark. Instead of having your brain cells knocked out, it's like having a lot crammed in, as it were. Is it a way of sugaring the pill, if you like? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> well, there's something in here for everyone. <laughs> no breathing. But it just might be very different uh, part. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed, worth the wait. Hope this reaction yeah, helpful to you, Fritjo. Yeah, since hope you didn't kept you waiting too long. Kept you waiting, huh? Yeah. Hope everything worked out fine with the new camera placement, the new microphone placement. Although I think the microphone should actually be helping. Because it, before it was like off to the side, which is kind of stupid, you know. But yeah.